book of Tov, today's stop is the Samach Sayin. Samach Sayin, Baba Kamas, we learned for Achim, Baba Kamas, we learned for Achim, Baba Kamas, we learned Says the Gemara about the uh, fifth line on the page. <clears throat> so we said that um, yesterday, where did we establish that according to most, and that the Psak Halacha, like Beis Hill, that Shinui Masa, if you change physically the item, you own it. That's enough for acquisition, even if there's no Yish, even if the other person does not renounce. Uh, <clears throat> that, so, and, there, and therefore, if let's say you took something, you, you stole a plank, you stole some wood and you turned it into a desk, you own the desk, except you have to return the value of what you took, what you originally stole. When we said there was a machlokas about Yish alone, does Yish alone help? Rabba seemed to say it does. Yosef says it does not. And that's where he seemed to come out also, that Yish alone, Yish could be low, honey. What about Shini Hashem? Shini Hashem is like Shini Masa. So sometimes Shini Hashem, according to Rabba law, that says that, look, if you uh, stole a, a lamb and it turned into a sheep um, or a calf and it turned into a cow or a bull, uh, that alone is Kona because that Shini, Shini Hashem, since it changed the name, it's like Shini Masa. However, the Gemara seemed to come out that that's where the law Shita, but otherwise Shini Hashem does work, but if it's a Shini Hashem, also, if it can go back, for example, in the case of the beam that you built into the ceiling and it, you could take it apart, Rabbi said, you don't have to take it apart if you stole it because uh, the Kona Sashav, we want to encourage you to do tshuva. But if you did take it apart, it can go back. But we also, maybe there you need Shini Hashem together with Yish in order for it to work. Yish alone maybe would not work. Uh, but in general, Shini Hashem seems to be like Shini Masa. So the Gemara now deals with this on the fifth line on Samach Sain. Is that considered just changing the name? Uh, even a name change where uh, it cannot go back to where was originally. For example, if a lamb turns into a sheep, you can't you can't become a lamb again. So in a case like that, that are you going to say that's really a shinui? That's like a shinui, like shini masa, where that alone is good enough. Or a sino, What about a pipe? The mikara katsisa. So you have a, a mikvah. Now a mikvah, you know, in order to be kosher, has to have forty salt, but it has to have rainwater. So what do we do today? Today we take rainwater, which isn't maybe as clean. And then what we do what's called hashaka. We we uh, we make a pipe go between the rainwater and the other and the uh, regular uh, tap water to make it kosher. But basically, if it was all tap water, meaning it came via a kli, via a utensil of some sort, uh, it was drawn in that way. It wasn't natural water like a spring or like rainwater that wouldn't be kosher. So what about when you had a pipe? Uh, the mikarkatis originally was just like a block of wood or a plank or something. The hashda sinor, and now you turned it into a pipe. Let's say you had a uh, a pipe that originally, uh, originally you had carved it out. You had taken, let's say, a plank of wood, carved it into a. We're not talking about today. We have metal pipes or plastic pipes. Let's say it was a wooden pipe that you first hollowed out, and then you put it into the mikvah, so that the water that came into the mikvah came via the pipe. It didn't come in naturally. That's no good. Sinor shachakol himself kavu posles a mikvah. Because that's called Mayim Shuvah. It's called drawn water. Went through a pipe. You can't use tap water. Tap water means it came by a pipe. Couple of self But let's say, though, no, you originally put the plank into the into the mikvah. Not to draw the water. You could, and then when it was in the mikvah, then you carved it out in there. It became a pipe while it was in there. That does ain't a puzzle to mikvah. Why not? The Amr Shimi Hashem Milsi. If you say that just changing the name, it went from being, let's say, a block of wood or a plank and became a Pipe now, if, if now it's a pipe, I feel a couple of self so nami with so should also be puzzled because now the water is coming in via pipe. So why don't you say that that should be puzzled too? If shinui shem is like shini masa, if shini masa is like milsa, shini mil, shini shame is uh, is considered a shinui. So then it's still a pipe. What's the difference if it was a pipe? Saying if it was a pipe before you installed it in the mikvah, then it's so good. But if it became pipe afterwards, then it's okay. Why? Uh, it's still a pipe. It's still a pipe. It's now a pipe, and a pipe means that it's coming in not by directly by a uh, natural means, but rather by a pipe. The whole the whole soul of drawing the water uh, from the from the that makes it possible to make it would be good. And therefore, the rabbi said only in this instance is so good. So why don't you say also if it's only 
then even if you carved out the pipe before you installed it in the mikvah, it should also be okay. It's only sister of Bantu, Rashi, Ami, Sassam, Ikitaros, Kliola, Batolish. There was a Kli before, well, while it was still detached, before it was installed, fixed, you know, permanently into the mikvah. But over here, since it wasn't the cleave before it came to the mikvah, it only became a cleave, it only became a pipe after it was in the mikvah, the rabbis didn't forbid it, and therefore there was no issue there. So that's as far as the Shinui Hashem goes. But now we're going to go back to our issue of Yish Kedikon or not. Yes, we have Machlokas Rabba and Rabbi Yosef. Yose. Rabba said, Shinui Maisa, everybody agrees on Shinui Kona. It's in the Torah, it's Rabbanan. It's it's it, rather it's in the Torah and it's in the Brisa. But what about what about Yush? Yush, she says, I'm not sure, right? Um a shin, shin kona. Yish, the rabbi said that it's Kona, but I'm not sure. Is that the Raisa, like the case of Aveda, but Aveda is different because it came into your hands legitimately, versus where you stole something and then the owner renounced it, it was Miyayish, can you acquire it there? So he says it works, but it's uh, maybe it's only drop on it. If the says no, Shina alone doesn't work. So uh, a year shalom, year shalom doesn't work. I'm mixing up year and shina. Talking about, we're talking about a year. Says the Gemara, Meisvei. Back to this issue of yish. Does a year shalom work or not? And um, we said, Rabbi Yosef says it doesn't work. Rabbi says it does. Meisvei. I kind of like gazlan honest. Let's say a person, either a thief, a burglar, a gazlan, a robber, or honest. Honest is like a chamsa. Masha says a person who forces you to sell it to him. You didn't agree. He just says, "Listen, I'm taking that." Uh, I'm taking that tool, I'm buying, I'm taking your hammer and I'm paying you for it. I don't want to sell it to you, too bad. I'm forcing you to take the money, that's anonymous. After they uh, burglared or robbed or forcibly uh, bought this item, let's say they were makdash to the base of these, these are the unbe unbelievable Jewish people. Even the thieves and crooks, et cetera, they still give, make a donation. Hekdish and hekdish, if they're, if they're makdash it's hekdish and truma so truma. If they give truma, they stole whatever it was. That truma is a truma, even though they stole the produce, right? Umas ras and meiser. I'm going to give meiser. It's meiser. Now, why does that work? <laughs> why does that work? Uh, if you say that uh, yish alone doesn't work, why should that work? Rashi says al makoni lo because it'll be yish. How else did they give it? The ganav gets all. Somebody took it and then he he was makdish it. He was matrumid to give to truma or give it meiser. Why does that work? You see over here, Chor Takasha on uh, on Rabbi Yosef. It's a proof to Rabbi to Rabbah that Yish alone works. I mean, no, Hasam Yini Shin Hashem. There's also Shini Hashem there. Remember, we said Shini Hashem is almost as good as Shinui Masa, where you physically change it. Because we said if the if the name won't go back, won't become won't won't uh, certainly a Shinui Hashem that doesn't go back to the, its original state. If it's a some of its original, it goes back to its original state. So you say maybe. Maybe you need Yish with it too. But if it's otherwise, it's Shinshin. Here's also Shinshin. Why Mikar Tevel originally was called Tevel. When he stole it, he stole it right from the ground or when it was in the silo. Ashta Truma. He turned it into Truma. Or his Hegdish Mikar was Hulin. Ashta Hegdish. Change the name. Shini, Shinui Hashem is like Shini Masa. And everybody agrees that Shini Masa, that, that Shinui is Kona. Amr of Chisam of Yonasem. Benayim is Shinu Shinuka. How do we know that Shinu is Kona? Now, we already had that yesterday. Rabbah brought this down yesterday. How do we know that Shinui, if you make a physical change in something that, that gives you that gives you acquisition, whether there was uh, whether there was Yish or not, Shinem, it says, Mahesh is like Zayla. You return the Zayla. Matamana Sheikh Gazal. Obviously, you're turning Zayla. What are you turning to Zayla? You're returning something you didn't steal. Mahesh is like Gazal. Im Kaesh is like this. What's that Sheikh Gazal? Im Kaesh is Gazal Yachser. If it's in the same form in which you stole it, Asher Gazal, this is the item that you stole this block of wood. If it's still here intact, so you return it. In love, if it's no longer intact because you've transformed it and converted it to some other item, then the amount of you only have to pay for what you stole, but the item itself you keep because senior is kona. You just you owe the value of the, the value of what you took at the time that you took it. If it was worth a hundred dollars, then fine. But you've turned it now into a desk that's worth a thousand dollars, you get to keep the desk. Says Gemara, what do you mean? You're learning it from a shared gazel. It's only, you have to return the item only if it's intact the way you took it. But if it changes something else, you get to keep it. Right? Asher gazel me boy left for a drift from Russia. The mute gazel of Shane Mos of Chomish. I'll gazel up. That Pasuk there is speaking about that if you stole something and you swore falsely about it, then you're Moda. Not only do you have to add 25%, but you also have to bring a carbon So it says over there, 
that's Asher Gosos that you took. When you take Gosos, let's say your father stole it. Your father, you know, uh, uh, robbed it. And then he swore falsely. But Rashi says, and then you are returning it on his behalf. He's dead or whatever. Uh, you're returning it. You don't have to add the 25%. That's, that's to tell me that Asher goes, oh, you, the whole Parsha there of adding 25% if you swore falsely about it. And then Ramoda, that's only Asher goes, look, you took it. But Gezalov, not, you don't have to. You don't have to add 25%. Yeah. 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 There's no penalty. Yeah, what 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 do you want that well if you swore falsely about it, there's twenty five percent more. But yeah, yeah, yeah. What what would you like the penalty to be? Uh -huh. uh, so you do you do pay the hundred twenty five percent if you swore falsely about it. Even if you didn't swear falsely about it. In other words, it's your it's your your ju your judgment is that you decided that if somebody steals a Cadillac, he should return a Cadillac plus a Plymouth along with it, you know, 25%, but something like that. That's your feeling. Well, it's a nice, that's a very nice opinion, you know. Anybody else agree? Should we take a vote on that? <laughs> There's no penalty, right. There's no penalty, correct. The penalty, Does that seem fair? yeah, it doesn't seem fair. Well, well what, what do they do in common law today? What do you get? Throw you in jail. Throw you in jail. Well, what does that help the guy who had the item stolen from him? He wants to, he wants to be made whole. He wants to be made whole. <laughs> right. So a guy, to, yeah, he pays double. If he burgled it, you know, he a baby has to pay double. But if he just stole it, no, he only pays the regular amount. Now, later on, the rabbis did institute jail. The rabbi, it's, in the Torah, there's no jail. But in the, the rabbis instituted later on when they saw a necessity. When things were bad, they put him in jail. When people mastered people, when people, uh, you know, uh, ratted on people to the government, you know, they um, uh, they they would put them in jail. Sometimes they would take them to the mikvah. You know what that means? They didn't come out of the mikvah so quick. You know, right? That was the way they would take care of people. Yeah, yeah, a little shino there, right? That shino on the stairs. love of So the point is, Asher Gosal teaches me that you don't have to add twenty five percent because it says. Uh, um, uh, only on yours. So that's what I'll share Gazel's for. If it's just to teach me that Allah, I could have just said, you return your Gazel, and not, and you didn't have to say Asher Gazel. You should have the whole parsha there, adding 25% where you swore falsely. So just Asher Gazel. What does Asher Gazel normally, what does that teach me? Why did it say Both things from here. You know, Asher Gazel that you took and it's only you return it if it's in the same status that it exists. That, uh, that it's the same status now that it was at the time you took it. But if you changed it, then it, then uh, if you changed it, then you don't have to return that because she needs kona. Economy. Some say Rav Chisrom Yerushalmi the other way around that they're going like Beishamai Shita, which is really pretty strange because Tosfos already said on yesterday's stop that the Gemara said Mikel Amanda Omar Shini Maisa Lo Kani. Is there anybody who said that Shini Maisa Lo Kani? The Gemara said that yesterday, and Tosfos said even though Beishamai says. That it says Shem Ma'aseh does not help, but uh, we go like Beis Hillel and we pushed away those other sheets. Even Rabbi Yosef was only argues on Rabba Beish alone. Avol Shem Ma'aseh, if he would close Rabbi Yosef, I remember there there would help. So this is a little bit strange. It's economic. He never says the other way. I don't know. Rabbi Yosef, and I'm the Shem Ma'aseh. No Kona. How do you know Shem Ma'aseh doesn't work? That that doesn't doesn't that doesn't acquire to you. Shem Ma'aseh. Let me call Makom. You return it no matter what. You return it no matter what. Even if you change it, you stole uh, wood and you turned it into a table, you still return it that way. That's how he does I have a share gozel that you took. That's what the That's the Russia of That's not, you're only five to add 25% on, on your something that you that you robbed, but not something that your father took. But he does and says, no matter what. But this rush is not la locha because we said we passed on the hill that she is gone. Omar Ula. How do we know that Yish shalom doesn't work? Now, we brought several proofs yesterday. Rabbi Yosef asked on Rabba, right? Rabbi Yosef, Rabba, what do you mean? You think Yish shalom is Kona? We had the case with Chometz, and we had the case with Kobana, and we're going to bring that down here now, too. He brings out another proof. How do you know that Yish alone doesn't work? Renunciation alone doesn't work. As we said, that 
Shinoi Masa definitely works according to Beis Hillel the way we pass in Shinoi Masa that that uh, works that 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 changes possession. Shinoi Masa works. Yir Shalom, he said, pretty much doesn't work according to according to Rabbah. We're going to make proofs that now. Yir Shalom doesn't work. Shinoi Hashem, if it's a permanent Shinoi, that also works. That's like Shinoi Masa, and we'll see other things on. Like does Yish ever work? Yeah, Yish sometimes works, but in conjunction with something else, like Yish is with Yish with Shini Rishus. If there's Yish in, you change the um, locality, the venue of the item. You change the possession of it, went to a different place or a different owner. Uh, it, would give, it, would give, it would give it over to somebody else's possession. Then sometimes Yish does work. But how do we know Yish or Amu Ula were two lines from the bottom of some say in Amaralov, who is how do you know Yishalom doesn't work? And I'm Yishan Koshema. Plus it says, if you bring something as a carbon to me, Hashem is admonishing the Jewish people. Alaysim goes, you bring something stolen, you know, something that, that was uh, robbed. You bring that as a carbon as a piece of you bring me a lame animal, or a whole sick animal. Uh, so you bring this ha'erza, you think I'm gonna want something like that? Like to show that you have to bring something nice to the bar shams like Kiriban Veil. So gozel to me the pesi. Now the pasuk has gozel. Bring me something that's either robbed or lame or sick. Gozel to me Something stolen is like lame. Mapi sech lesekad. Just like if an animal's lame can't be made whole again, it's never. It's a permanent. Uh, it's a permanent dysfunction. Then a mapi sech lesekad. There's no. There's no remedy for that. Af gozel the lesekad. Same thing with gozel. We're talking about when there's no takana when it can't be fixed. Makes no difference. In other words, Gezel, Gezel is no good. Uh, just like Piseach, there's no remedy for Piseach. It's lame. Gezel also, once it's stolen, there's no remedy for that. It doesn't make any difference for four years or after years. Does, that years doesn't help. That's the point. How do you know that years doesn't help? Because we said Gezel is like Piseach, just like Piseach has no remedy. If it's stolen also, you can't just, you can't acquire it now and becomes yours by years alone. That's what that's that's the first book. That's what Ula says. Rabba on the health this pasuk we had yesterday. It says carbono. It says when you bring a carbon molo carbono, yours below gosel, not some it's stolen. Hey, so what are we speaking about? Even with Yish, before Yish Pshita, can I bring somebody else's carbon? How can I be Yosef with somebody else's carbon? Does that make any sense? Lomali Kar would only pasik for that. Obviously, it says so you, you're bringing a carbon to atone for you. How can you be toned? How can you make atone with somebody else's carbon? El Alab La Yish. It must mean after Yish. It must mean after Yish. Oh, and even though it's after Yish, still says you you know you know, it's with that. So here's two proofs that Yish alone doesn't work. I Yesterday we had the same proof that Rabbi Yosef brought this as a proof against Rabba, or Abaya brought this as a proof against Rabba. This is Karbano, not Gazel, even after Yish. So you see Yish doesn't work. So Rabba answered no. Just like Mishkavo means Gozel, must be speaking about, must be speaking when there was a Shini Masa, right? Mika, the Malam Shini Masa, like El Mayas, the Neymar, the Gozel, they're speaking about Mishkavo means where you stole somebody else's bed. It's not speaking about after Yish, not telling you that, oh, Yish doesn't work. It's speaking about before Yish, but it, the, the Chiddush is that you stole somebody else's carbon. And that even when you bring that carbon, even the person you stole it from, the Nixal is not Yodse. That's the point. You want to bring a proof. That Yish doesn't work. How do you know Yish doesn't work? Well, one proof that Ula brought us because Gezel is like Piseach, just like Piseach cannot be remedied. You can't fix that. Gezel also cannot be remedied even with Yish. Rubber's proof is because it's carbono. You brought a carbon law Gezel. And it must be speaking after Yish because otherwise there's no Chiddush. And uh, so you see Yish doesn't help. He says, no. Maybe we're speaking about before Yish. The Chiddush is I didn't speak, I didn't steal somebody's animal and try to bring it as a carbon. I stole somebody's carbon. And the Chiddush is that that doesn't work even for the person that I stole it from. Or as we said, if it's a carbon, it already belongs to Hashem. So there is no, uh, there's no yish there. Hashem is not miyayish on anything. There's no yish there. The carbon ain't unique, so it can't be stolen wherever it is. It belongs to Hashem. So therefore, that's not speaking about a case of yish. So Rava gave that answer yesterday. But Rava the Amar, God's look coming from that is speaking about a case where you stole somebody else's carbon. So there was no yish there. So how is this a proof? How can Rava bring a proof here that uh, yish doesn't work because? Uh, it says you can't bring so you can't bring a carbon, uh, you can't bring somebody else's carbon. It must be speaking on after the person was miyayish. No, it's speaking about he stole the carbon. So how could rubber bring it as a proof now? Yish, there's no yish over here. And see, boy, same harder bay. Maybe rubber retracted from that answer and said that's not speaking where you stole somebody else's carbon. Or retracted from this answer. 
But Rav Papa, one from one of the answers he retracted. Eboy say mechad nayu Rav Papa. One wasn't Rav. One of them was not uh, Rava, but one of them was Rav Papa. Either the one by Carbono on yesterday's stuff or this shot over here is Rav Papa, and therefore it's not a steer in Rav himself. Now, let's understand the Mishnah. Let's go back to the Mishnah on on uh, Samach Beis and Beis. The end of the Mishnah said that. Uh, what, or the, really, the whole mission was dealing with this issue that right that capo applies in more cases than dal day. Hey, capo applies on anything that you stole, a car, uh, you know, an animal, whatever, anything, you know, whether it's a livestock or or it's uh, it doesn't it, or it's inanimate, whatever. Capo applies to everything. Whereas dal day only applies on shore and set, right? Because the pasuk says shore or set right? What does the pasuk go on to say? If you stole a animal, pasuk lamet zayin in perak chafalav kigin of each shore or seut vachom acharo chamisha vaka yisham tachas ashore you pay five vaka or pay five times for the shore barbetzon tachas and four for the set we call that dalat hey talking about the set first and then the shore okay so the gemara now says uh, and that only applies to shore or set why not other animals says the gemara umida sashol miyavar chamisha bamai why do you say that only applies to shore or set Nailab Shor Shomi Shabbos. Just like a just on Shabbos, it says right, Shrabakabakal Ban Tikha. It all applies on Chaiba Of Kiosaban. You can't do work with your animals, any kind of animals that you have, even undomesticated animals or or birds. You can't do any work with any of them. Afkan Chaiba Of, why don't you say also here that if you steal somebody's animals, you also have to pay four or five times. Why is it only apply Shorba say? Uh, Listen to the Pasuk again. That's the beginning of the Pasuk. And you slaughtered it or you sold it. You pay five for the shore. So shore is mentioned twice in the Pusik, the beginning and at the end says mentioned twice in the Pusik. We have an extra shore and set over here. Since it's shore and set, why is it repeated twice? They tell you only shore said nothing else, which is extra, says the Gemara now. So Amarav, Amarav, Shor Baseh, Shor Baseh, Shnei Pam, Shor Baseh, and Midi Achrena Lo. Amri, hey me answer, which Shor Baseh is extra? Elaim, Shor Baseh, Baseh, if you tell me the, at the end of the Pusik is extra, the Pusik is just say, if you steal a Shor Baseh and you shechter the Tvach HaMacharo, you should pay five, five, and four. Okay. said the sefer What should Hashem say? Don't mention shor at the end of the pasuk. Just say you pay five bucker in place of this and four in place of that. Because the pasuk would say it that way. Whether you stole a shor say you pay nine. It says you pay five bucker. For it and for its own. Okay, that means you pay nine. It doesn't say five bucker for the shore and four and four for the tone. It says pay five for it and four for that. That's a total of nine. Ah, but it says five for this in place of this and four for that. No, and, and therefore one at one uh, one tachtov is extra to teach me. Only for the shore, for the shore you pay this, and for the say you pay that. No, how we boil a little We need that tachta for a different rush of tiny yachogan of shore shore shavamana. Let's say you sold a shore that's worth a hundred dollars a piece. You shall tachta again. I could pay an old dying shore in place of that. Take an old animal that's about to die, like a very old frail animal, and pay that. Right? Because it says you pay. Just you, you steal a shore, you got to pay five shore. You, you sold it or or shafta, you got to pay five shores. No, Kamash Mohan, Tamar Tachtov, it's got to replace it. In place of it's got to be like when Tachtov Tachtov, the extra Tachtov is to teach me that you've got to replace it with a similar valued animal. That's what the extra Tachtov is for. So again, if we'd only have, uh, if we'd only say, if we'd say, Chamisha Baki Sham Tachtov, Arvat so I would say you have to pay nine. For if for anyone, if you stole a short, say so you pay nine. Ella Shorva said the ratio you have to, okay. Maybe the beginning of the Pasuk, when it says, Kid Nabi Shoro said, don't say Shoro said there. At the beginning of the Pasuk, it's actually muted. If a person steals, what does he steal? Not a car. You can't shech the car. And he slaughtered it and he sold it or he sold it. 
Chamisha Bakri Yisham Tachas Ashor. Rabbi Tzav Tachas Ashor. Okay, what, what, isn't that okay? If you steal something and you shecht it or you sold it, you pay five for the shore and four for the set. Because Rakh Marach, you have a minute. Ad the gun of Trey, betabachlu. Maybe it means this. You have to steal. If you steal, it says if you steal and you shechted it, you have to pay five for the bakar and four for the tzone. That means you got to steal both. That sounds like you got to steal both. Until you shecht, if you you steal, you stole two, right? You stole two and you shechted them because it says if you steal and you shechted, you got to pay five and four. It's okay, five for the bakar, but you got to steal two in order to be chayiv. If you steal one, maybe you're not chayiv. So, so it, uh, it can't. It says it, it says it can't be you shechted two because it's a tvachoksev lachad. You only shechted one. Okay, the Ema, Ad the you got to steal two, and, or let's say, talk about selling, maybe you have to steal two Masvenlu, and you got to sell both of them. No, it can't be that. Okay. But by both slaughtering and, and selling, it says it. That's individual. Okay, Lachad. So maybe you got to steal two, maybe you have to um, steal two, Shecht one. And sell the other one in order to be chayev. It's omacharoksiv. No, but it can't be. You have to shech and sell because it says shech or sell. So again, how could, What's the problem? Maybe, maybe the uh, the, the first the, again the first shor kesa is the shor osa is extra. So lakati have mina adugan of tavayu. You got to steal two, but tavachad and you shech did one mishayachad and left one over one you, one you didn't shech. Omasman chad mishayachad. In other words, the pasuk could have said. Ki yignov, if you steal, utvacha o macharo, and you shechted or you sold, you pay five for this and four for that, but maybe you got to steal two. Maybe ki yignov means you got you to steal a shore and a seh, and then either you shecht one of them or sell one of them. How do I know? In other words, it's uh, maybe that's what it would mean. And therefore, I have to say shore and seh. You have to say sure. There's no extra shor v'seh because if we would just say ki yigno utvach mochar, I think you got to steal two animals, a shor v'seh, and you got to shecht one of them or sell one of them. Oh my God, this is a big chiddush itself. It's, would you say pay four or five? Uh, Doctor Shapiro would like to say twenty five percent is a fair amount to add on to anybody who steals. But the pasuk says you can pay four times the amount, five times the amount. Where do you get that from? That's pretty far out. We'll talk about that as far as in a, in a few minutes. But where do you get the four and the five from? But it's it's pretty strange, right? So if it would only say ki igno utvach mochar, I'd say okay, you got to steal two animals, you got to shech one of them and sell one of them. Only then do you have this business about the four and the five. So we don't really have uh, an extra shor osa, right? Because if it, if it wouldn't say shor osa, I might think you got to steal two things, right? Vakati have min adugon of tava, you got to steal tova tava chad mshayachad. Either shechted one and left the other one over, or mas mechad mshayach, or you sold one. And left it with Ella. So, what's the extra shore of a You need him apparently. Ella shore, the safe of a set, the ratio miyasa. Here's the point. The shore at the end of the Pasuk and the set at the beginning of the Pasuk X, Y. The Pasuk can say, ish shore. If you steal a shore, one shore, and you sold it, you shechted it, or you sold it, and then say at the end of the Pasuk, the set. And that would teach you everything. Right? That's what we, if you steal a shore, you shaft it or sell it, you pay five for that. And if it was and four if it was a set. That's all you need. You can have a shore at the beginning and a set at the end. Shore the safe. Why does that the shore of the safe of a set? The ratio lovely. Shmamino, shore of a sand, meaning the shore of the the shore of the the shore of the safer and the set and the ratio are extra. And therefore they teach me Dr. Shore of said no other animals. In other words, that's pretty good. If we would say Kiknavi shore. And utfacha omacharo, that's the pasuk for omacharo, and you shechted or sold it, you pay five bucker for that. But arbet zon tachas aset didn't have to say set at the beginning, that they shore at the end. So the set at the beginning and the shore at the end are extra, and therefore that teaches me dafka shor said nothing else. Then the mission went on to say, and the gana bachanam sham tashlomi kefil. If you steal from the ganav, you don't pay kefil. The Ghana pays Kefal, right? The Rashi said at the beginning, if you steal it from him, but if you stole it from the Ghana, you don't pay Kefal or four or five times. So Rav says, Rav says, if the Ghana was Miyayish, not the Ghana was Miyayish, who was Miyayish? The owner. 
You have an owner. The God of stole it from him, right? The God of stole, let's say, an animal from him. And if you steal from the Ghana before the owner was Miyayish, you don't pay Kepa. Only the original Ghana pays Kepa. It says, Guna be Besa Ish. Only from the owner, not from the Ghana. So Rob says, you know what? That's only if it was before Yish. But after Yish, Abalach Yish, Kanu Ghana Bishan. After the owner was Miyayish, the first Ghana was Kanu. Why? Because he's, we'll see, he had Yish and Shini Rushus. The owner was Miyayish. The owner renounced it. He gave up on it. And it's now in the possession of the Ghana. And therefore, the Ganav owns it. And if you steal from the Ganav, he's now the new Balabaya. The Ganav, right? Says, Avalach Yish, Kanu Ganav Rishon. The Ganav Shem Misham Tashlomi Kepo, the Ganav Rishon. He pays Kepo to the first Ganav, because the first Ganav is now the owner. Amr of Sheshis. Now, you have many times in Shas when of Sheshis has this member on Rav. Rav, Rav, Amr of Sheshis, Amina, I think, Kinaim Meshach of Rav, Amr Lam Mel Shemite. I think Rav was asleep when he said this. In other words, it doesn't make sense. Why? The Tanya, we have a brisa. Amr of Akiv Neimam Torah Tavach Mafim Sham Tashlami Avra Vachmisha. Why did the Torah say that if you shechted or sold, if you paid four or five times, nation is starish b'chay because now you are rooted in sin because what you've done is like you've you've made it final. You've now you've now taken away the ability of the original owner to uh, to um, to recover his lost item. If you shechted it for sure, he's not going to get his animal anymore. You're not going to do chayis amesim on the animal. And if you sold it to another party, it's going to be very hard for him to get it back. So you're like rooted in sin. Now, when is that rooted in sin take place uh, in a case of sale? In a case of shefting, obviously, you've, you've shefted it. It's that shuni maisa, shuni maisa, that's it. Now, if we're talking about the shuni maisa, if it's before yish, meek and ishtarish, if it's before yish, why is it in ishtarish? If he hasn't, guy hasn't given up on it, hello, Rashi says, hello, Hanamasa. What do you mean? You sold it? You sold it. What? If the owner hasn't given up and you've sold this, what have you done? All you've done is you've changed it from the possession into the possession of the of the uh, purchaser. But if there's no yish, yish with shinim rishus, there's no shinim masa. We're not talking about when they, when you shechted it. When you shechted it, we understand there's a shinim masa. So, so for that for that shinim masa, at that point, you've acquired it. You have to pay dollar to hay. So that's the exact so cost that you pay all the hay at that point, but, but by taking the knife to it. But by selling it, all you've done is change Rishus. Yish was Shin Rishus without you with uh, without Yish. Certainly nobody says that that works. El Lach must be speaking after Yish. Yish if, if Rob is correct that Yish works, right? That Yish uh, works so that um, the uh, the second gun of who steals from the first Ghana because the first Ghana now owns it. He's like Yish Kani. Am I Misham Tashlom Never Chamisha? Why would he pay four or five Shalot to Beach Shalom Mocher? He's selling his own. If the original owner was Miyayish and now this guy sold it, why would he have to pay Dal the Hay? He's he's uh, he, he acquired it himself. The the, the God have acquired it, so he shechted his own. He said he sold it on. Therefore, it must be that Yish doesn't work. Amri Kedam Barav Nei Shishana B'Chei Dachanam Nei Shishana B'Chei. The truth is, speak about before Yish. There was no Yish. If the original owner, what we're saying now is, when do you pay Dal the hay when the original owner was not in the Ayish? Okay, what about Shini Maisa? That we'll have to deal with. But as far as changing, we're just selling it. If there's no Yish, if, if, if there was no Yish, uh, all you did was, uh, you know, Tzwai Yichai Dal the hay if it, if, it, if it made it unrecoverable? No, because you've doubled your sin. Number one, you stole it. Number two, you sold it. You've done two, you, you did a double of error because that the Torah says you have to pay Dal the hay. But there was no Yish over here. Now, this point that Rav Sheshish makes on Rav, it's whenever whenever um, uh, somebody says, Kinai B'Shach of Rav Amal I think it was, it's always Rav Sheshish, and it's always on Rav. And so the idea is like, oh, I think he was asleep when he said this, because I have a brisa. And it's always, Rav Sheshish always brings a brisa against it. So the Mepharshim say, so the Mepharshim say that it's not because he's really putting down Rav. Rav is the one who said that you're not allowed to sleep more than 60 winks at a day. So he was always tired. He was always what we call today sleep deprived. They didn't have that word in those days. He was always sleep deprived. So he said probably when he said that because he forgot this brisa. In other words, how could Rob said that after years the owner the the Balabai the uh, Ganif acquires it? How was he acquired it? As we said, years alone doesn't work, right? Years alone doesn't work. So uh, it still belongs to the original owner. Ah, you say then if it belongs to the original owner. Um, and uh, when when does he acquire it? Only when there's shini rishus when he sold it or when he uh, shechted it. So at that point you have 
we yes, if 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 you shalomu, if your Mars cash was if you alone would work, so why would you pay Dal Bahay? Shech did his own. If when a god of steals something, if the original owner was Miyayish, and we said, not like Rabba said, that Yish should work, right? Yish works. Yish could be low honey, like Rabbi Yosef, and like we bought proofs. Yish, if Yish would work, then the god of owns it now. And when he shafted it or sold it, it's like he put it in his flock. It's like he shafted his own. So why would he pay Dal Bay? Elamai must be that Yish alone doesn't work. What does work? What does work is, is when he sold it to somebody else or shafted it. So at that point, you really have Yish and Shini Rishus. Rashalach Yish Nani Maisa. Dashtan Kalakech Betarti Yish Vishini Rishus. Right? So, Ella Salach Yish. If Yish alone is Kona, should be, the answer is Yish alone isn't Kona. It's only Kona with Shish Shim Rishus. So that Maisa, with the whole Maisa together, he's high for that Maisa, Dal Day. But uh, Yish alone wouldn't work because uh, Yish alone would work. Then he'd be shafting his own and selling his own. But since he's selling somebody else's and shafting somebody else's, at that point, that's what he's chayiv the dal the hay, even though technically he would acquire after he shechted it, he would acquire it. And the own and the guy that he sells it to would acquire it. Because then there, if there's Yish and there's Shina Rishus, then it would work. But if Yish alone, it wouldn't work. All right, we'll pick it up near Toshma. More proofs about this. Yeah, beautiful. Have a good day.